How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, my client flew in from Texas to get his first tattoo. Welcome to Arizona. And like always, we're gonna have Breath as our first watch to discuss his tattoo ideas. Oh, here's this. My mask, my mask. Look at this sauciness. Queen posted. Look at this. Hey, yo. How you doing? Good. I just landed actually. You just oh, landed? Nice. Oh my god. Hey, are you nervous? I am. Yeah? I don't know what to expect. Yeah, you don't know what to expect. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know that's what right. To expect. You wanted it on your thigh. Yes. Right thigh. There was a lot of ideas, sure. a lot of different ones. Uh, but I do want to guide you on getting the right piece. Sure. Because there's times where going simple is the best route. Okay. Sometimes adding too many things into one single piece can be just a little overload of ideas that they just don't look good together. So what we're gonna do is uh, talk a little bit more about the ideas and narrow it down to the best, imp the most important things. I thought about like my wife's eye. There's something that attracts me, that attracted me of her when I first saw her was her eye. It, it's just a unique shape. Okay. When I, you know. Okay. Thank you so much it's for everybody. Oh, get that bacon. Get that bacon. Hey, yo. We were just going over the design. Uh, we we're trying to incorporate, like, your eye, and we we're trying to incorporate, like, the clock and so forth. Um, but I think it'll be a little bit out of out of place. We're just trying to do something simple, um, realistic, clean. Trying to give it a try and making sure that the eye belongs there. Uh, but if, but if it looks too crowded into the thigh, then I wouldn't suggest it. So I can give him a nice little shout out. Roger Parrilla. Shout out to you, my man. Thank you for all the advice you always give me. So this guy specializes in color. So I'm going to get in contact with him and I'm going to ask him what's the best aqua blue and from what brand uh, I can use on the ice. So make, making sure that it's going to heal nicely and stuff like that because I don't have that kind of knowledge in color. So I'm gonna get in contact with them and I'm gonna ask them what's the best choice for this for this tattoo and what kind of blue should I use? Crazy, look at this one. This one is vibrant like crazy. So yeah, I'm gonna get in, get in contact with them and ask them what's the best color to use. He explained that blue is gonna heal darker on clients that have darker skin complexion. And honestly, I'm gonna trust his advice and I'm gonna go with black and gray. Mm. I'm not mean to. <laughs> okay. Hey, perfect. 8.30 at the shop. 8.30 at the shop. <laughs> so, um, let's get this day started. So for this tattoo, I'm going to keep it simple and I'm only going to be using two needles, which is my 15 curve mag and my nine round liner. Real quick, I want to send a huge shout out to higher level tattoo supply store for sending me all these supplies because I was running low. Before we continue, please make sure to drop a comment down below and let me know what was your favorite part of this video and if you learned anything. And then I'm gonna choose somebody from the comments so I can sell you some money so you can take your family or friends out to eat breakfast, lunch, or dinner. The winner from last week was Ben Mason. Thank you for watching my videos and I hope you guys had a good breakfast. If you watch all my videos, you know that I print my stencils super huge. But before I put on the stencil, let me go ahead and shave and clean the skin. Very important. that I'm gonna be using for this tattoo are gonna be super dark. The first tone is gonna be solid black. 
The second one is gonna be 80% black and 20% white. I wanna make sure that this tattoo has a whole bunch of contrast so you can see this tattoo from a mile away. Oh, okay, let's begin. You ready? Yeah. There it is. There it is. You want me to turn it up? So all I'm doing right now is going with the flow with my Nanra liner. No patterns, I'm just, you know, having fun. Just doing this over and over and over again and next thing you know, you're gonna have a mane. I'm going to be applying the same technique throughout the whole entire face except when I get to the forehead. That's when I'm going to be switching to my 15 curve mat. Looking back at this video when I'm doing the nose, it kind of looks like I don't know what I'm doing, but I promise you, this technique, this te technique, technique actually works. So give it a try, stick out your needle, lower your voltage to 5.5 and let it happen. Time for white highlights, but first I like to apply Basicane to numb the skin because I, you know, I, they need it. You know, even though they don't ask for it, I like to apply it just to help them out a little bit because I'm torturing them for hours. It's just a little something I like to do for them. So that completes today's session. Thank you guys for watching my videos and thank you guys for supporting my channel. It makes me really happy to see that other artists find my videos useful. And here are some artists that send me their work. Actually, one of them covered up a whole tribal and I was, in, I was impressed, you know, the fact that he was able to cover up a tribal just by watching one of my videos and that made me really happy. What I want to say to my client is that Ray, you took it like a champ. You were sitting like a rock throughout the whole entire session for your first tattoo. I'm impressed and I'm looking forward to adding more to your sleeve and I want to send a huge shout out to the hospital that my client works in which is RCHD in Pecos, Texas. You guys are amazing and you guys are superheroes and shout out to all the hospitals around the world and thank you guys for watching again. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.